Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play in EU4. Today we're going to be playing as England. So we did stop our, um, our Russia campaign. Because mostly I feel like I've learned what I needed to learn in that campaign. I think it's time for us to kind of start anew. Uh, so we're going to be starting over here in Western Europe as good old jolly England. So we have these territories in France. And I've been thinking before we even like started this episode... Like, what do I do with this? Because I'm fairly confident. Uh, like, how many troops? Can I see how many troops France has? Because I know they should have, like, yeah. Do you have a lot of puppets? Yeah, these, these guys are all your puppet states. The 28,000. If I were to, I can't, okay, I can't check that quite yet. With all your puppet states, I don't think I could fight the French. So, with that in mind... I wonder if it just makes sense to just, sh like, just sell them a province. Like, what if I just sold you a province? You want to buy for 240? Like, I could sell you for, like, 52 gold. And if, you know, it's not, I don't think it's, I don't, honestly, I don't think it's a bad idea. <laughs> At least for right now. So of course, we have two few rivals. Who's rivaling us? Scotland, Denmark, and Burgundy. France isn't. They're actually friendly towards us. You would not accept an alliance. Oh no, we're friendly towards them. They hate us. Never mind. Okay, so we've been reading that wrong. So, okay, two free rivals. Of course, we're going to go, hey, Scotland, we're going to choose you. I guess also France and also... I guess also Burgundy. I kind of wish I could have been Burgundy's friend, but if they're going to rival us, we might as well rival them right back. Denmark, you're not important enough for me to rival, so don't even think about it. Apparently, there's also a looming disaster, War of the Roses. Well, the following must be true. Currently in disaster. All the following must be true. Air is from York, Lancaster, or Plantagenet. Okay, that's good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that's happening. So, who would want to be an alliance? You would, so we'll go with an alliance with you. We'll get an alliance with Aragon. Do we have any kind of relationships already? We do with Portugal. So, we kind of have a whole alliance down here with uh, Iberia. And now, is there a fourth person? Austria would also have an alliance. Basically, this is my anti-French coalition. And hopefully, they'll be able to get what we need done. Uh, there's no debates in Parliament. Yeah, I guess we'll start a debate. Gain 1525 sailors. Fund expansion of bureaucracy. Let's go for... A land survey. We have a 30% chance to win. We have to get this done in 10 years. Add game one base tax to Lancaster. Lose 10 military power. Some points here. You already got crown lens. I mean, we have a lot of diplo points. You know what? Let's just throw them in here. You know, a 6% chance to win. That seems pretty good to me. I don't know when that election is going to be held. Too few seats in Parliament as well. We have five seats. How many seats do I need? We need eight seats. Okay. Apparently, seats supposed to be outside automatically. So what about... I'm going to put, like, some seats, like, here. But I'm honestly, I'm actually not too sure how we add seats to Parliament. So I'm sure they'll get added automatically. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Uh, Portugal, yes, we can have an alliance. We are currently making 11.88 ducats a month, which I think is pretty good. But I want to send these guys over to, um, we don't need a fort in London. We don't need a fort, I think, in Calais. We also don't need a fort in Wales. I think just a fort up here in Scotland is good enough. Do I send troops down to, um, France? It's a great question. Okay, so we got one more seat. I honestly don't know how to add seats to, um... Oh, no, to give seat to Parliament. You know what? Does London have a seat? You have a seat. How about you guys? You can have a seat. Um... I'm guessing the more seats we have, the, uh... The worse things will be. Give you a seat that should get us up to the number that we need. Fantastic. The more people that have seats in Parliament, the more there's going to be political kind of infighting. 
And the more parties we need to kind of bribe and stuff. So that seems to me like kind of like a bad idea. Combine these fleets up. We do not need, of course, our, um, our transports. Just keep them in a different fleet. You guys don't have a leader. Put in an admiral. I mean, I think maneuver does help with trade. So we'll keep you guys going for now. And you protect trade, of course. So the North Sea at 14%. We're also doing another merchant. We have another merchant in Lubeck. I think you guys just go to Lubeck. We already have so much control over the English Channel that we should be fine where we are. You just get what we need done. You have some advisor slots, and we have actually a decent amount of money. Do not power this. Three, three. You're horrible. How old are you? You're 23. God damn it. Um. So we're gonna go for a maintenance modifier. We will then go for Diplomatic Reputation. I know you're a little bit expense. Actually, you're only like one duck in a month. You're actually not that bad. And National Unrest. Just gets a one point across the board. We desperately need this done. And you will give us Missionary Strength plus 0.5. We don't need that. And we won't need it for a few years. I'd, rather mu I'd much rather have the institu uh, institution spread. Because right now, Renaissance will spawn at 1450. That's only five years from now. And it only spawns in Italy, apparently. So, we... Maybe a little bit. Uh, can't do much. But France. Do I have any cause? I could humiliate you. None of my allies would join. Because we don't have enough favors. But I'm hoping that, like... I mean, how much, man, how much um, military strength do I have? I'm at... Do, 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 20... I could build, like, 8 more units. And I think I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four, five. I'll save a little bit of money so I can buy two of you guys. Bordeaux is the seat of a family of queen consort. Local unrest. I mean, that's the same creep. We have a, an heir who is better than the horrible one we had already. So, I mean, that seems pretty good. We'll marry with you. We'll marry with Austria. We'll marry with Castile as soon as they actually become available. There we go. Thank you guys for our, uh, for our great wedding. Put you guys here. Also, um, diplomacy, alliance action, not alliance. We want to send some guys here just to kind of improve relations with some of our allies. And we're going to send you guys up towards the north just to maybe stop any, you know, potential Scottish uprising or something like that. And of course, we have Ireland over here. At some point, we want to take them over. And I'm sure we're going to get a mission for it. War of the Roses. Reach the Age of Reformation without triggering it. Where is Age of Reformation? It is here, which I think requires at least 1,500. 100 years of war. Change of control. Where's, where's, where's me conquering? Just conquering Scotland. Discover India. There's actually a lot of stuff over here. The tree actually seems uh, uh, decently bigger than the the one we had as Russia. Or at least it's less linear, I guess you could say. But I would like to get probably one more view. And next month, get one more infantry. Not now, okay. Next, next month, one more infantry. There we go. Fantastic. We don't need this fort. Don't need this fort. Don't need that fort. They should turn on automatically once we're actually at war. Not too worried. Tyrone... I mean, you're allied to Desmond. I could just invade you, like, right now. And, like, we we might as well, right? You have a two stack. How many, how many troops could you possibly have? You have three? That's 5,000 men total. And if I can throw, let's say... Yeah, once you're done. Throw you guys over to here. That should be okay, I think. And we, I mean, once this expires, this expires in June of next year, which we should have enough troops to go over. Hey, uh, assign this only guy that we have as a general. Hey, Tyrone. Remember how, like, a moment ago you just insulted me? I'm just going to declare war on you. And that's that. Then we're going to walk to your territory and kill you. Seems like that, that war is going to go pretty well. Oh, look, you're dead. Six war score. Fantastic. Maybe you shouldn't have insulted me. Just, just, just a thought. Parliament demands Furman removal. I just hired the dude. No, we'll take the 10 prestige. 
Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're doing just fine. Not even slightly worried. Queen Consort of the People. Violent legitimacy, that seems pretty good. But we did lose some legitimacy in the actual war. Ooh, wait. Don't claim my territory. How dare you? You've actually mar you've actually sailed over to Kane. Good for you, I guess. You can sit there. You don't actually have troops to even siege down the forts. So I'm not too sure what your plan there is. I mean, I could just take... Look at manpower. Unrest plus eight. You know what? That's not too bad. We do have our... Um... We do have our one dude. Who's providing us with a negative two. Provence has been excommunicated. What did you do to be excommunicated this fast? Nobody would join me. France would actually go to war with us, which seems, like, bad. I'm not too sure how long we can hold off the potential... I mean, how many boats does France have? They have 15 ships? What is my naval limit? I can build another four ships. And building four more boats doesn't seem like a bad idea. Apparently my one advisor is already dead. Screw it. Hire another dude. We need as many points as we can possibly get here. And if we get military tech up as fast as possible, sounds great. Don't have artillery quite yet, because that is a level 7 tech. Which is a little bit expensive. We don't like heretics. We don't like heathens. But that doesn't matter too much. I wonder if it's even worth our time to, um... Do you think it's worth our time just to, like, annex Cork while we're here? I mean, like, while we're in the neighborhood, we might as well, right? We are going to be fighting this navy. You know what? Just stalk for a moment. Yeah, okay. So, my, you guys, you need to come over here for a quick second. You can go back to tr protect trade in a moment. I kind of forgot that they would have a navy. Like, we, we should crush them. Hey, look at these guys. Go to Cork now. You, you shouldn't send a 19 stack out to try to kill me. But once you land, you should be good. You have a kind? Cheaper advisor? Or, ooh, I mean, you're level 3. I can, There's no way in hell I can afford a level 3 guy right now. Okay, so we'll get you guys to just dock back in Ireland. The Surrender of Maine. Lose one stability. We get a truce with them. Like, in exchange for accepting Treaty of Tours in 1444, the county of Maine was promised to France. In practice, however, it's still not come to pass. The English governor wants to be remembered as the one that's in Maine. And in London, prominent nobles are claiming that our negotiator, William de la Plol, I have no mandate to make this concession in the first place. Well... We'll be considered the aggressors, which means our allies probably won't join us. It sucks we're taking a stability hit. I still think it's... I mean, how long is this truth for? Five years? I honestly think that's okay. What do we even get out of this? We do have claims over the region now. Nobody would help us yet, because we don't have enough favors. We'd be called the multiple wars. Would I? Would you? I mean, how many favors do we have right now? We have one favor. We get one favor every two years. Okay. Well, once you guys dock, you should be good. We have five years to prepare for invading you guys. I still think that's the right choice. Because if I can actually conquer... Let's say if I conquer all of Ireland in the next five years. Or even, you know, attack Scotland. Are you... What are you guys? You're just the Isles? And what are you fighting over? You're fighting over this region here? I would like to kill Scotland. They are, of course, allies of the French. Which does provide some uh, difficulties there. Apparently, we already have uh, a relative on the Portuguese throne. That seems pretty good for us. You are sieging extremely slowly. I'm assuming because you are... Yeah, you're not being blockaded. A negative 35. I mean, a drone. 
I'm assuming, yeah, you, you won't even surrender quite yet. So, like, I'm going to annex your territory. That's about it. I will spend the points to boost you back up to zero. It's a little bit of a rocky start. I will completely admit that. Also, I should be using you to justify some claims here. I could just require you to send me some stuff, which would be nice. Can I get you to just become a va You would actually just accept a vassalization. You all would, actually. You're so friendly towards this as well. You wouldn't join me in alliance, though, because we're at war. But I'm, I'm surprised you would all accept vassalization. So maybe actually, maybe vassalizing this guy down here. And just kind of feeding all of Ireland to Desmond. Probably not a bad idea. So right now, we have two active cardinals. We have a decent amount of influence in the papacy. And five imperial influence against ten. Guys, it's been so goddamn long since we've even had to interact with this thing. No, I think right now, we'll, we'll keep whatever influence we have. We're still going to annex this territory just because it's already you know, close to us. Yeah, but I can just feed all of you guys just to Cork. We should hopefully be okay. Uh, we have a decent amount of legitimacy. Let's just use the points there. Prestige does go up pretty quickly because we do have our plus one guy. And luckily, Cork's army is not going to start off from scratch because he does still have an actual three stack over there, which is nice. I please each down just a little bit faster. But you really... I mean, I know our rolls are bad because we're not blockading it. But still. And you're going to probably take over all of Granada. Not a huge surprise. Hopefully, like, you guys don't go to war with each other. Because we do have a vested interest in kind of keeping the Mediterranean somewhat stable. But it should hopefully make the French... Not want to attack us. We're also not making that much money, but I'm assuming that's because we're spending it all on like forts and shit. A level trade efficiency plus ten. I honestly think it might be worth it. Cause you are you an admin? No, are you a diplo? You are a Diplo. Two, you know, two for 10% trade efficiency. I think that's probably worth it. I don't even remember what the last guy was, but you've already kicked them out. So it does, it does, it clearly doesn't matter so much. Okay, Bohemia is having a famine. Desires of the flesh. I've got to do whatever. Have an adulteress for a queen. Lose time prestige, lose any ducats. Local unrest plus three. I kill Alexander Cromwell. Is that you? It's the prestige guy. I get papal authority event. I can bribe him to say nothing. Um, ten prestige. I'm already taking it. You know what? Let's let's see what this is. Never mind. Lose ten prestige no matter what. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. But, you know, nobody said things would be perfect. Hey, Cork. Or Desmond, I should say. You want to be my vassal? You do. You also want to give me all your money by any chance? You would love to. Thank you. I do get nine... Yeah, actually, it's not that bad. So put some guys here. You, on the other hand, will now just be annexed. Give me all your money as well. Uh, I don't think there's really much else we can do here. I mean, I guess I could give this to my new vassal in Cork. I mean, you could, but on the other hand, I'm just going to take this one. It's, it's close enough. Actually, it might also stop I or, or Scotland from trying to expand in this area anyways. Just do something like that. Fantastic. You guys go to here. And I think that's a pretty decent way to start off our uh, campaign. Even though we had a few uh, bumpy, a few little bumps along the way. I still think this is going okay for us. Everybody still also on 333 tech. That's fine. Pretty diplomatic relationship slots. That makes sense. Um, if I was to drop a relationship, I mean, you know what? No, no, no. We're gonna keep. We're gonna keep it. We're, we'll take our negative one. Maybe it's not the best idea in the world. Could get vassalized. We can like vassalize more people if we wanted to. But that seems like a bad idea. You build a spy network. 
And we want to see who you guys are actually. You're allied to this guy. Who are you allied to? You're also allied to him. And I will also build a spy network in you. We can spy networks in these two areas in Scotland. We can probably actually annex like almost half the island right away. We only need to get away up to 20. We don't even 8 stack in the uh, in the island anyways. You've declared war on you, which means you're now at war with France. France is kind of at war with all you guys. Like this would, of course, be the best time to strike. Absolutely not giving anything to the French. Like, if I could just take Paris, you know how great that would be. It would be nice. I mean, do you, can you guys even win? Like, who's... Who, 18, 20... Maybe with all your vassal slates? Either way, you guys fighting amongst your, yourselves benefits me and me alone. Also, yeah, I don't want to be funding... Uh, these fortifications, they are way too expensive. Even this one in Wales, I really don't think we even need in the first place. Uprisings? No, um, I, I think we'll just, uh... you be extremely disloyal. 53 gold. Take it. It sucks. What can you do? I think we're still making decent money. Cut army maintenance in half, at least for right now. We're making 12.5 ducats. 13 ducats off trade. That's half of what I was making in the whole Russian campaign at the end, so... You know, I think this is... Good way to start this off. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks so much for watching my Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Now enjoy, you can always come down. Once more, subscribe and goodbye.